Ale this year, Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde tendered in him so fit for the position of presidency. Come 2021 elections, before facing arrest which saw him spend over two months behind bars. Since his release on 11th May, the soft-spoken general has remained silent, thus leaving many guessing on what could be his next political step of action. There are two clear positions, a roadmap for all of us or a roadmap for individual groups. For me, I'm still giving it a chance to see if we can get a roadmap for all of us. With the raw political profile, Tumukunde is convinced that he can be a better option for presidency. Why do you think Ugandans don't know us? Credentials. Yes, I've got a reputation, I have a name, and I'm sure, unlike most Ugandans, I've got quite very impressive networks in this republic. Yes, that's why you don't see me panicking. I have quite a lot. I'm sure some of you, you know how many of you I know in person. You see, the other problem we have always had with the opposition is that you front yourself first and foremost in search of leadership, in search of offering. But what kind of election does he and others want? Now, if there is social distancing, if there are all these many now encumbrances, including a curfew, which eats of three hours of our day. Now, if there is now delivering all these materials to different centers, how are you going to do it? Tomkunde guides that if need be, the constitution can be amended to create room for a credible and justifiable election or extension. My main question is, how many times have we amended the constitution? For our own sake, the constitution serves us. What if there is every reason, you know, to suspend some articles of the constitution? And the law is very clear before even go to suspension. By the time COVID-19 came in the country, early March this year, all was set for politics to roll. But nearly after three months of absence, different political players and parties are coming back on board, with the latest being Lieutenant General Henry Tumokonde, Robert Wenyango, UBC News.